G'day everyone, Matt from Pain and Garage here, but today it's a little bit different because Pain and Garage is going DIYing, but not in the car world. Actually in DIY is in DIY at home world. So join me today, I'm going to try and work out what is going on with our roof because we've got some leaks. And uh, yeah, so a bit different, haven't got much else going on at the moment, so might as well put... Uh, I don't know. Run the intro. So as you can see, we've got some brakes in the roof. All the tiles have like shifted down, as you can see like all the, all this concrete and that's all moved. So, it's all broken on that side, it's all broken on that side. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of brokenness just in this section. So, what I'm going to do, is we're going to fix these top one up first because these are where the water's getting in our roof. And uh, hopefully, we can work out what's going on. I'll take you guys inside the roof as well because it's got a bit of sagging going on in there. Um, yeah, yeah. I've never done this before, so I'm going to learn. You guys are going to be here to join me. Okay, I've got my sweet farm hat on. Uh, so what we're using today is this. So it's this two-in-one bedding and pointing product. It's meant to be waterproof, cement, sand, that kind of thing. So I'm going to use this. So I've mixed up four kilos of the cement that comes with it with eight, 0.8 of a litre, which is 800 mils, of course. So um, I'm going to take this up on the roof now. Got my little trowel. Got that for you guys to come along with me. And that's our spare stuff there if we need it. This comes out a bit too watery, then I might end up... Um, it seems like it's right, though. So hopefully... First time I've ever done this, so it should be exciting and scary. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a bit windy up here, but I'm gonna take some of these tiles off and shift them up a bit, because like these ones have slipped. But most importantly is getting all this top part sorted out first, so get stuck on that. Alright guys, that was quite a long time lapse, but I mean, I can't do much with holding a camera and doing this at the same time, so I think I've got pretty decent effort done. Got the main part fixed, which is a good thing, so I'll show you guys. So as you can see, it is a little bit darker than I was expecting, but it's better than having it light grey, of course, but um, yeah, just a little bit of excess. Stuff is actually very hard to um, get on here perfectly. By the way, I got burnt today. We went looking for a doggy, and uh, we are waiting around for a while, so... But as you can see, this stuff is like, it sort of works, but it doesn't want to stay. I don't know. I don't really know how this stuff works. I sort of guessed it, so I'm hoping that it's all good. But just noticing a few little spots. My tub is pretty much empty. But this is pretty much the result. Looks a little bit shabby at the moment, but I'll get all this tidied up. But I think a pretty decent effort. I mean, thanks for coming with me on this random adventure. But I fixed like all the way down. I pulled like all these tiles off. We put sort of this stuff in the roof to sort of sit on so it doesn't slide down anymore but yeah we're going to need a lot more of this stuff to uh fix it all but good start that was the most important part though was to fix that but up next we're going to uh, get up in the roof and evaluate the damage uh, of water all right guys welcome to the inside of the garage roof as you can see a lot of trusses up here very scary Right, I'm gonna flick you guys there. Right. Inquire within if you would like that. So I'm gonna sell that soon. It's one of the only physical pieces of the Monaro I have left. Uh, just random stuff, but to me, the roof doesn't look that bad. What we do have at the moment, which is an issue up here, is mouse. We've got a mouse. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's one of those um, pinball machines. That's sick. We might have to pull that out and have a look at that. That's cool. There's a lot of old stuff up here. I'm gonna have, a, have to have a fossick around. Oh, is that Digimon? Jeez. It's like a time capsule up here, guys. Anyway, 
it's looking like, you know what, evaluating the roof now, there's barely any light coming through from where it was originally coming through. Our Let's get my English right. That was where the, All right, I'll put you on. So there and there were the two leaking spots. Um, it looks like not too much water had caused damage up here, but I think it might be overflow. Like if you look down there, down there, if that helps, right there. There is like a slight bit of daylight. There's a little bit more than everywhere else. There's a little bit there too. I mean, the water could have got in really from anywhere, but that was the main culprit and that's what we wanted to fix was just up here. So I'm happy with that. Um, I think what we'll end up doing, just double checking the roof. There's an old guitar down there, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a fosca around here, but it's looking like we're pretty much right in terms of um, it being like water damage, like I think only minimal water got in here. You can see where the truss is sort of releasing from the plaster itself, where it sags slowly. Um, but I think we've got out of this pretty unscathed. I will have a good look up here though. But uh, yeah. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching. I know this is very different to what we normally do here on the channel, but I thought we'd bring you guys along. Um, it's just one of those things we've got to fix, but uh, yeah. Lack of car stuff at the moment. I haven't really got much motive to uh, make any videos because there's nothing really out there. But we'll um, we'll be getting stuck into some stuff soon. Um, might do a few little reviews of what we've already got. Um, yeah, I'd love to get the project car up and running. That we should have that probably. I don't know well, halfway through the year maybe. It just depends on how we go and how the uh, cash is looking in the old Panda Garage kitty. So. Uh, which is pretty much non-existent. But thank you all so much for joining me. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, The Panda Garage. You can all interact on there. Um, leave comments below. Tell me how I did the roof wrong. I appreciate that, um, seeing everyone's an expert on YouTube. But <laughs> I just love taking shots of people. But, uh, yeah, well, my, mo my motto, like, real on the channel and what I always take in life is that it's not whether or not you can do it, it's whether or not you're willing to sort of learn how to or at least try. And I'm trying like I do on most things. So thank you also for joining me on this trying adventure. Um, first time doing any kind of roof work, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, hopefully it all works out. We have no more leaks and uh, that'll be great. So until next time, guys, my name's Matt. It's been Panda Garage. And I'll see you all next time in the garage, not in the roof, above the garage. But yeah, you want to say Monaro Exhaust V1 Series? Inquire within.